Join now on the broadcast with former Scream Eagles forward David Rose. David, before we talk about your time in Cape Breton, I wanted to ask about you making the queue because it doesn't look like you were drafted into the Quebec League. You come in as an 18-year-old rookie with the Montreal Junior. Tell us about that. You're right. I used to be in the what we call in Quebec the Junior Triple A level on the South Shore in Quebec. And then actually I paid a $50 fee to get into the Montreal Juniors camp at the time when I was 18. I think I made a good impression. Then afterwards, I joined the Montreal Juniors at 18, then played with them for two years, and then got uh, traded to Cape Breton at the age of 20. When I played with you guys for, I think, five months, when it was a very, very good experience for myself. Did you have any familiarity with Cape Breton before you came, just because of the large amount of connections to Cape Breton and Montreal? Pascal Vincent was there, of course, and you look at a number of other players that you would have played with that would have been with the Eagles before, like Gucci and Trenard and whatnot. Yeah, you're right. I used to know a few players that played with Cape Breton before I joined you guys. One at the top of my head was Francis Maillard. I played with him in Montreal. Nicolas Schwinar also played for Cape Breton, if I'm not mistaken. Pascal, just before I got traded, he told me, hey, listen, it's, it's a nice place. You're going to have fun there. So, And I went there with no expectation, or at least, but maybe kind of big expectation because the guys that I played with told me so, so much great things about the city and the people and the team in general. You spend a half year there, as you mentioned, before being traded to Baycomo. Tell us about your reaction to coming there and what your best memories of your time with the Eagles are. First of all, I, my billet family, I was with Wenda and Perry, well-known family in Cape Breton that was taking care of me. I had a very, very fun time hanging out with those guys. And afterward, just the environment where you are in Cape Breton, people are so nice. And the thing is, I got traded at Christmas, not because I didn't want to stay in Cape Breton, just because I needed more credits to finish my college degree. So this is the main reason why I got traded. But if I had the chance, I would have stayed there for sure. I had so much good memories from that time, just playing with a few of my buddies, Joe Brunel and Sebastian Payet at the time. We were all 20-year-olds, so it was very fun. And yeah, people were very nice, and I really enjoyed my time there. You just mentioned that you end up asking for a trade because of school reasons. Now, sometimes when a player wants out, even if it's for a good reason, the fans aren't so understanding. But I recall you coming back and getting quite the cheer. What did that mean to you? Why did you think the fans gravitated to you, even after you'd been traded out? It was a very special time. I played once after I got traded to Cape Britain. It was like I was playing at home. The feeling was incredible. I think I made a good impression every time I played in front of the fans there. I tried to do my best, and I think I was a very... couldn't say I was a fan a favorite at that time, but I really liked playing in front of those guys, and I had a few people cheering for me. So it was, again, a very nice experience, and I really enjoyed my time there. And following your days in the queue, you end up playing at McGill. Tell us about the hockey there, and tell us about what you studied. I played four years at McGill. I studied first in education, then I switched to economic and finance there. And I played hockey for four years. I had a great time there, and I've been working for a year now. So I'm fresh out of school, and everything goes very, very smoothly. And, and McGill could have been a better option for myself. I very enjoyed my time there, and it, it was also close from, from my hometown. It was the, just the, the right fit, I think. You mentioned working. It looks like you're still playing senior hockey. Tell us what you do for a living now. So I still play hockey in what we call the North American Hockey League. In Sorel Tracy, it's been a year now. I really enjoy it. So it keeps me in shape a little bit. And then I just started working a year ago at, at Sun Life Financial. So I'm wealth sales representative for Sun Life, taking care of the territory of Quebec and Chicoutimi. This is what I do. I'm part of the wealth side on the mutual fund side. Having a blast so far is so good, and I'm looking forward to working for Sun Life for many years. Well, we hope you have continued success there and the good memories you do on the ice in Cape Breton. Thanks for this, David. Best of luck with everything going forward. Thanks, Patrick. I appreciate it. That's former Scream Eagles forward David Rose joining us at the REMAX Park Place intermission. You're listening to McDonald's Lauder Group. Scream Eagles Hockey, 1270 CJCB.